about it. of us, including me, are very interested in science, so we wanted to make a show about it. Well, that's great, but there are so many different types of science. Which area did you choose? Astronomy. We have Steve Edberg, who's an astronomer, coming on today. He's bringing real footage of the moon from the Galileo mission. Oh, Excellent. Wonderful. And will you be including astronomy in the rest of the program? You bet. We have a video about stars. And I'm making props of the planets for the interview area. Oh, I'm thrilled, Deva. You know your props really help the younger children understand the information we present on the show. And I think you kids are going about this just the right way. Well done. Thank you. I'm glad we're doing astronomy today. Me too. It's one of my favorite subjects. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Megan. Megan. I hear that Mr. Forbes and Mrs. Wilson are really pleased with our ideas for today's show. Good. Lots of kids are interested in the moon and stars and planets. That's true. I am. It's time to get the show rolling. Okay, roll tape. Tape's rolling. Roll the opening titles in three, two, one, and take it. And cue the host. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV Show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. I'm Erin Harvey. And I'm Alexandra Brown. And we're the Biggles. We have a great show planned for you today with lots of fun music videos. And we have a guest that is sure to interest you, Steve Edberg. Steve is an astronomer. What's an astronomer? It's a scientist who studies stars, planets, and galaxies. Wow! I think we're going to learn a lot today, little brother. Me too! But first, let's get in the kids' songs mood with the favorite kids' songs video. Jeepers Creepers! Jeepers Creepers Where'd you get those keepers? Jeepers Creepers Where'd you get those eyes? Gosh, I'll get up! Get up! How'd they get so lit up? Gosh, I'll get up! How'd they get that size? Golly gee! When you turn those heaters on, woe is me! Hey, where are you going? Gotta put my cheaters on! Jeepers! Creepers! Where'd you get those peepers? Oh, those weepers! How they hypnotize! Where'd you get those eyes? Golly gee! When you turn those heaters on, woe is me! Let's be friends, okay? Awful. This doesn't look anything like Saturn. I give up. You can't give up. Everyone's counting on you. We need the props on the set. Well, someone else can do it. 
day that there isn't anyone else. This is your job. You're just going to have to try again. I can't do it. So are you clear on the script change? We got, got it. it. Good. You're on the air in three, two, and... Our next song is about being cheerful while you work. Because when you are happy, work feels like play. Trust us, we know. So take our advice and... Whistle while you work. Time. Then let's just leave the set plain. Mrs. Wilson wants us to have visuals to help little kids understand what the astronomer will be talking about. We'd help you if we could, but we're still finishing the interview questions. Deva, I know you're discouraged now, but you're just going to have to pull it together. We're, we're counting, counting on you. you. Okay, I'll start again. We're coming to Rackin' and Possum next. Cool, Shira, tell Aaron to play into camera one and Alex into camera two. You've got it. I've got my t-shirt. And cue. Our next song stars a raccoon, a possum, and a bunny. These furry animals live in many areas across America, so you just might see one in your area. The Kid Songs kids had a close-up look and figured out what's the same and what's different with these guys. And it all came down to their tails. You'll see. Daisy, roll raccoon and possum. Please. Get it together. What'll we do if he doesn't? I'm sure he will. Sometimes we all get discouraged when a job seems too hard for us to do. Maybe it will help if we gave him some of these pictures to copy. I'm sure he would appreciate it. Sometimes it helps just to know that your friends care that you're having a hard time. I'll go give these to him right away. Shouldn't they be putting props into the interview area by now? I heard there's a problem. Oh dear, I hope we get sorted out in time. Speaking of time, it's time to cue the hooks. Thank you for that gentle reminder. And cue them. One of our favorite things are trains. You can say that again. I love trains, especially really big ones. Alex, do you remember that enormous, 
yellow and red Southern Pacific job that we danced on? Sure do. I think it's my favorite one of all. Can we go see it again? Funny you should say that, Billy. We're just about to introduce the locomotion. Great. That's the one I want to see. Us too. So here it is. The, the locomotion. locomotion. with this. I'd have felt awful if I quit. Sometimes it's hard to keep going with a project when it's not working out, but it feels so good when you finish it. You're so right, Ruby. Where are those props? We only have two more songs to go, and then we're into the interview. I'll check it out. Ryan, it's Casey. We're a little concerned about the props for the interview area. Dava was having a hard time with them, but he said he'd get them done. I think you better see if you guys can help. Sure. We'll be done with our research in a minute, and then we'll go help Dava. Thanks, pal. Coming to the house in five seconds. Shaking is ready to roll. Cool. Shira, count them in. In two, one, and... One of the Kids Song Kids' favorite place is the amusement park. Especially for those of us who love the roller coasters. Now, roller coasters are something I don't understand. I can understand going really fast around curves. That sounds exciting and fun. But I don't like the idea of coming down that really steep part where you can't see what's next. Uh-uh, it's not for me. That's okay, Billy. You don't have to ride the roller coaster. Oh, good. Can I still come with you next time you go to the park? Sure. Meanwhile, I'll enjoy my favorite roller coaster on video with... A whole lot of shaking going on.
Billy. You're welcome. This is the last one. I'll help you with it. Thanks. Our astronomer guest, Steve Edberg, is going to be out in just a few minutes. So we thought it would be nice to go back to the campfire at Old McDonald's Farm and sing the first song that most of us learned about the stars. The classic kid song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. looks great. Let's hear it for Deva. Yay, Deva! Thanks, guys. We all knew you'd come through. I wish I'd been as sure. Lindsay and Mr. Edberg are in position. I'm ready to roll the graphic. Roll it in three, two, one, and take it. And cue the hooves. Now it's time for that very informative part of our show, Question Time where Lindsay Bartelson interviews a fun and fascinating guest. And today our guest is astronomer Steve Edberg. Welcome, Lindsay and Steve. Thank you, Alex and Aaron, and most especially, thank you, Steve, for joining us today. Well, thank you for inviting me. What is an astronomer exactly? An astronomer is a person, a man or a woman, who studies the universe. I understand you're going to talk about the moon today. What is the moon exactly? Well, the moon is actually just a small planet. It just happens that it's in orbit around the Earth, but uh, if you compare the Earth and the Moon, one's about four times the size of the other. But the Moon is substantial sized uh, on its own, and in fact is bigger than the planet Pluto. Wow. The only difference between the Moon and another planet is that the Moon goes around the Earth instead of independently by itself going around the Sun. How far away is the Moon? Well, that's a good question. It's, it's 240,000 miles away, but that's a hard number to grasp. And if I were to try and show you, even with these models here, I'd have to send you down the street to get the, <laughs> uh, get the distance correct. So instead, I brought something else that we can use. Here's my smaller model of the Earth, and here is my model of the Moon. It's just a marble. Now, how far away would you say the Earth and Moon are really in space? Are they this close? Are they this close? This close? Um, about the farthest. About the farthest? Well, let's find out. Okay. Why don't you take the marble okay. and we'll slowly unroll this and we'll see how far away they really are. <laughs> that is the actual distance between the Earth and the Moon in space. Wow. On this kind of scale. Wow. So that gives you some idea of how far apart they really are. Cool. So I understand you brought some video footage to show us today. Can you tell us about it? Yes. This is pictures of the Earth. It's a real movie taken by the Galileo spacecraft in 1990 on its way to Jupiter. And you can see the continents swinging by. Here's South America. You can see weather systems. And we get to see not only the Earth turning here, but the Moon as it goes by. And we get to see the actual motions of the Earth and Moon together in space. Will you explain to me how an eclipse happens? Sure. Uh, it requires that the Sun, the Moon, and the Earth all be in a line. Then I can have the shadow of the Moon pass right over the Earth. It blocks out the Sun, and we have a solar eclipse. Wow. They're spectacular and a lot of fun for astronomers to go see anywhere in the world. Super. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been intergalactically awesome. Thank you. 
I've never seen footage of the moon that close up. How neat. My thoughts exactly. Where are those biggles? Right here. And where are you supposed to be? In our studio, right? Right. Gotta go. <laughs> they crack me up. Cue the host. And now it's time to do a little line dancing with Billy and Ruby. So let's head over to their studio and have a good old time doing the achy breaky heart dance. Hey kiddos, are you ready to line dance? You didn't sound very sure, so I'm gonna ask you again. Are you ready to line dance? Good! Good. Okay, let's go with the basics. Try this. Clap, step, clap, step, clap, step, clap, step. Now, put your hands on your hips and do some jumping jacks. <laughs> That'll make your PE gym coach happy. Now try this step turn, step turn move. You know what? You're doing the achy breaky. ourselves. We're not done yet. Yeah, but the hard part is over. You guys are so confident, scaring me. Cue the host. We only have time for one more song today, so if you decided to go back to one of our favorite places, the petting zoo.
everything will be fine. But we're still not done yet. Cue the host. Well, kiddos, that's all we have time for on this episode of the Kids Songs TV Show. The one and only show made by kids. For kids. And sorry, kids. And Biggles. See ya. See ya. Bye. Ruby, do you think we can see Biggle Land from here? I'm not sure, little brother, but I think we better go home. Mom's got lunch ready for us. Okay. Yeah,